Hello everyone, it's Monday on GasWeatherViz.com, which can mean only one thing. Yes, it is Europe Day every Monday at GasWeatherViz.com. I have a look at the weather for the <coughs> excuse me for the coming week, and uh, this uh, Monday is no exception. But this is going to be the last uh, European outlook forecast of the year uh, because, uh, of course, next Monday is going to be Christmas Eve, and uh, Monday I've added it's, uh, new, it's uh, new Year's Eve, uh, so I'm going to be winding down. <laughs> some of the uh, forecasts uh, at uh, Gaz Weather Vids. So the European Outlook is one of those uh, forecasts I'm going to be uh, winding down. Uh, European Outlook will return on Monday, uh, January the 7th, 2012. Now, for a go on video, I should just explain uh, a few things. I'm uh, coughing, I'm sure you've already noticed. Uh, I've got a cold, so please bear with me. I may have to stop to have a cough uh, or a drink of water, uh, but please bear with me, and I hope you can uh, hear uh, my voice okay. Also, I want to mention the advertising. There'll usually be a video ad overlaying my weather videos at gasweathervids.com. Please play those videos. You'll be supporting gasweathervids.com uh, by doing that. And finally, uh, I want to mention uh, websites I'm using for uh, video. It's uh, you can find it on my links page so I'd better get on with it before my uh, voice gives out so this is the uh, chart for today Monday the 17th of December uh, low pressure here across the British Isles bringing some uh, showers and we've been introduced milder air now into many central uh, central parts of the continent uh, the cold air associated with this area of high pressure over Russia has been forced back towards the, the uh, northeast so that really has been the story of the weather over the continent over the last few days with milder air pushing in forcing back uh, that cold air and this shows up quite nicely on the upper air temperatures uh, the cold air is up to the northeast so for Scandinavia uh, Russia down into the far northeast of Europe it's still cold uh, but really central western and of course through the Mediterranean uh, parts of Europe uh, have got uh, generally uh, much milder uh, conditions. The dew points also showing this up well. Cold uh, dew points over Scandinavia, going back into Russia, of course, and then down onto this eastern side uh, into the northeast of uh, the continent. It is still quite cold, but really Germany is the dividing line between that colder air to the east and the milder air to the west. Anywhere uh, west of East Germany is generally quite mild away, of course, from the Alpine region. So much of Ireland, Britain, France, down in Spain, Portugal, and then through much of the Mediterranean, it is quite mild now. So have a look at the precipitation. Well, all of this up to the northeast is snow, of course, through Scandinavia down into northeastern and some eastern parts of Europe. Most of that is uh, snow. Uh, to the west, it's rain or perhaps a little bit of sleet in places as well away from high ground the Alps of course having snow uh, but really much of France here having rain uh, Britain as well in towards uh, the low countries Denmark a lot of that is going to be rain also as we come through Mediterranean largely dry in the west uh, we've got these uh, thundery showers around Italy uh, down in towards uh, parts of the um, uh, Malta there and then also as we go through uh, further east of that uh, we are uh, looking at a wintry mix through the Balkans rain sleet snow uh, mainly snow it has to be said over high ground probably uh, more like rain or sleet around the Adriatic coast and then much of this in the far southeast it is going to be heavy uh, rain so if you have a look at uh, the uh, temperatures for today across the continent well we've got that east west split I say it's cold in the east uh, once you get towards the northeast those temperatures are staying well well below freeze that's where the bitter cold air uh, still is but from uh, central Germany westwards uh, that's where we've got uh, the milder air as we move through to the middle of the week that high pressure up to the northeast actually starts to become more dominant again trying to push that uh, cold air back and at the same time low pressure is dominating in the Atlantic throwing up weather systems and bringing a lot of rain into uh, the west so we can see on the upper air temperature that the cold air is coming back here uh, up to the northeast uh, but out to the west we've got the mild air uh, still going there for Ireland, Britain down into uh, France, Spain, Portugal a lot of mild air and again Germany really is the dividing line between the milder weather to the west and the cold weather away to the east. The dew points again showing up the cold to the east severely cold dew points up there over Russia as you would expect of course and stretching back into Scandinavia coming down into many of these central parts of Europe we have cold dew points in the west so uh, where it's unsettled it's also uh, much milder so a lot of heavy rain there through, through the British Isles and much of Ireland down into France uh, that's going to be uh, we're going to see a really wet week in, in those areas uh, <coughs> midweek I should say a really wet wet uh, midweek uh, through those areas 
Temperature as well, it's cold again in the east, that colder air has actually pushed a little bit uh, further to the west. It's starting to turn colder again uh, through much of Germany in towards Denmark. Uh, it's cooler around the British Isles as well, but the air is still mild in Atlantic base, really. And it's really the west that t the mild weather is maintained. And then finally, as we go towards the end of the week, we're going to find uh, that first weather system actually stalling and sliding away uh, to the south east. We've got more low pressure uh, trying to come in from the Atlantic. But this blocking area of high pressure really is uh, proving to be uh, quite, a, uh, quite a, a nuisance, really, for the models. They're having a job to model this, how far west this high pressure is going to push, how far west that cold air is going to push back. Uh, big question marks, really, for much of the continent, I think, uh, going up towards and over at uh, the Christmas period. So for the upper air temperatures, we can see it's still cold here up to the northeast. Uh, the cold weather is maintained there through Scandinavia back towards Russia. It's trying to push southwards and eastwards all the time, but the Atlantic is battling with it. What's going to happen? Who's going to win the battle? need to wait a bit longer to find out the dew points showing very cold uh, air there across much of the north and the east of the continent but mild weather still maintained out to the west but that colder air is getting ever closer uh, to central and western parts of the continent so precipitation we're taking rain here from the British Isles and France through in central uh, parts of Europe it'll turn to snow as it moves into that cold air uh, further east not much going on up to the northeast some snow froze but it's bitterly bitterly cold and then we've got heavy rain here coming down in towards the central parts of the Mediterranean. It's mainly dry away from the Pyrenees where it'll be snowing across much of the western uh, basin of the Mediterranean. So very cold still up to the north and to the northeast. Can't see Scandinavia but it'll be well below freezing as it is uh, through much of the uh, uh, western Russia as well. And into these central parts you're very very cold. Again Germany is still the dividing line uh, between that cold air to the east and the uh, milder air down to the uh, southwest and the weather that uh that uh, cold air ever really uh, gets us gets into the west of Europe as we move towards Christmas. It's still too early to say. There's going to be more changes with this battle, I think, as we run up uh, through the week. So in summary, it's an east-west split uh, this week uh, for. Uh, the continent, western parts of the country very unsettled, uh, west parts of the continent I should say very unsettled, there's going to be a lot of heavy rain uh, through the middle part of the week generally quite mild in the west as well, Germany is the dividing line from the east and to the north of Germany, it's going to be very cold uh, with that cold air trying all the time uh, to push into central western parts of Europe and how much it succeeds for Christmas you're going to have to wait and see well, that's it uh, for this year then. I'm uh, going to be back with the European Outlook on Monday the 7th of uh, January 2013. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a very happy Christmas and a uh, very Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.